I've got my fall beach leaf. So if you want to see what's inside, then stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. David's hanging out with my mom. He's quite a little trader these days. And Chloe is taking a nap. It's been a long day and a long week at school. She's doing a lot of after school activities. She's in high school now and she's doing an environmental justice group. Oh, here comes the little trader. Um, she's doing a sailing club and aquarium maintenance. So super excited, but super tired. All right, so if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. This is the Fall Beachley Box. Now, for the second season in a row, I did not get an email about customization. And so I did email them and they're like, oh, we sent you one. And I'm like, oh, but you didn't. And it's not in my junk folder. Like I have looked through there. I'm not sure what's going on with this. So I'm gonna keep on top of it. They said the beginning of November will be around the time that they will start to do their customizations again. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for it. But the box came like this, and it was missing two items. So I reached out to them and they said that the other two items were en route. So I already got those, so they're just separate. So I'm going to take some of the things out of the box so we can go over what was in the box and then I'll go over the two other items. And I did get all of my choice items except for one which they had run out of. It was a Etika bracelet. All right, so it comes with a little flyer and it doesn't go over categories. So these are done in categories. It does not go over categories. It just goes over the items themselves. And right here is that bracelet that they did run out of. And they didn't give me a choice of the other things in that category. They were just like, um, here's some other stuff you can choose. So I don't know if they ran out of everything in that category or what, because there was something else in that category that I don't remember what it was. It was kind of going back and forth between, but this is, I, yeah, I don't know if it was pillowcases. I don't remember because I don't really say. The first thing I'm going to show you is by Zoe Isla, and at first I wasn't like excited about this, excited about it, but then when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's super cute. So this is the Tropic, Tropic, like it's hot, hair wrap. And at first I thought it was just going to be the kind of thing that, you know, like you wrap and keeps your hair back, but no, it is a hair towel, and I do love these, so... And it was just so pretty. So there's the inside, but look, here's the outside. So this, when you get out of the shower, you know, you wrap your hair in it and it helps it kind of towel dry some. So it's less heat on your hair or like me, I shower at night. So I'm not usually drying my hair. I'm usually putting this in, letting it dry somewhat, brushing it out, and then maybe drying the roots only. And that is a $20 value. And next, and this is an item that I do have, but it's so pretty and I wouldn't mind having two. This was the item that I got instead of the Etika bracelet. And this is by Lotus and Luna. And it is a anklet and it's just pretty beads. And you can see it's attached with a little thing in the back. And I just love anklets. So I don't have a price for that. All right, next I opted for this. And I don't remember what the other places were. I feel like it might have been the terry cloth backpack, which I didn't need. I know me not getting a bag. It's amazing, but I did it. I avoided a bag. Now, if it had been a tote, I probably couldn't have turned it down, but this I thought was really pretty, and it's this nice big garland. And it has the sea glass and wood. I don't think this is actual sea glass, though. It's just meant to look like sea glass. It doesn't feel like it, at least. And some tassels. This is Primitives by Kathy. Bandit, not you. Uh, oh, I guess you. 
It's the wood and sea glass garland valued at $35. And oh, those are glass beads. Okay. Well, oh, very pretty. It measures 58 inches in length. And she says it's a nice home accessory. I, yeah, I like it. I was happy to get to choose that. Of course, you know, it's Halloween Town right now, so that's going to have to be put away until spring comes back around, spring summer. You know, I went to Home Goods, and I went in just to get some coffee and some snacks. I walked out with a couple of throw pillows. What do you see? So I don't even have the tags off it yet. Look at this guy. They had him and a ghost, but I went with him, even though the ghost was cute, but I thought the bat was kind of different. All right, enough of that. My next choice was from a Crafted by Quilara. Q-A-L-A-R-A. And it is this little tray. It's kind of like all, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. I feel like it's, I feel like it's not supposed to look like this. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. I hate to have to contact them again, but I'm looking at that picture and I'm thinking, no, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is supposed to look like that. So it's a hand-woven 11-inch tray, and it's valued at $42. It's made from banana bark, and it's handmade for a one-of-a-kind touch, and it's 11 by 11 by 2. So maybe it is supposed to be like this because it is handmade. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it too much. All right, you can kind of put your your beads in there however you want just kind of throwing them in and they're just going to pull out but you know you get the you get the drift all right so the other two items this is by shore s-h-o-r-e and it's this little t-shirt and on one side there's just one little shell and then on the back we have four shells, and it says, after I see, this is in a large, and it looks like it's a good size. Like, it looks like it's, you know, kind of boxy. And that's a $55 value for a t-shirt. The other things I think were regularly priced, this overpriced. I mean, I'm not paying $55 for a t-shirt. I don't care who's made it. Yeah, it's a slight oversized fit. All right, and now this was also an overpriced item, but again, it came with the box, so I'm okay with that, and it was what I was most looking forward to. And this is by Saltwater Lux, and this is their Hello Sunshine cardigan, and just look at how cute that is. So I did get this in a medium because it looked like it was going to be oversized, and... Yeah, I mean, that fits perfectly. And that is, now I hope you're sitting down, $128 value. Can you even? I, I can't even. I can't even with that price. But, hey, it came in the box, and this is more than the cost of the box, so I'm all right with that. But I'm not going to be ordering from there. Because it's nice, but I don't have one good $28 sweater money. All right. Well, tell me what you thought of the box. Now, I, I love this. Like, I'm so excited to get this. I'm so excited. This is why I do subscription boxes, because I can get things that I wouldn't necessarily be able to put the money out for. So I get to have things and try things that I really like, but that would be on the higher end. So that's the whole reason I do subscription boxes, is I kind of like that about it. I don't know. A little addicted to that. But tell me your thoughts about my choice items. Now, this company also purchased Birchbox. So they are the new Birchbox, as well as what used to be Causebox and then was All True. They did purchase that as well. And they're an established company. So I think, you know, I haven't gone back to All True 
only because I think they're still kind of cycling out of the inventory. So when they purchased it, they much have, must have gotten all of the inventory that they had. They didn't, the old owners did not apparently sell off the inventory. So they picked the company up with all of the inventory that they had. And it's a lot of stuff that I had gotten previously in Causebox. So I haven't seen enough new items for me to want to jump back on that bandwagon. But if you haven't been a part of All True or Causebox, then it might be something to check out. I know several other unboxers, like uh, Miss Jackie Russell does that. Um, I don't, there's, there's several other unboxers out there who do unbox that. So take a look at what they're getting. See if you like it. I have been getting the new Birch Box, and I'm very excited and happy with it. And so stay tuned for that unboxing sometime later on in the month. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending a little time with me. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. It's totally free for you, but it really helps our channel grow, and we so appreciate it. And hopefully, I'll see you soon.